different one. That's the mayor. Okay. This is now this is now Baltimore State Attorney, the DA, Marilyn Mosby. This is a different one who basically is telling uh, those who rioted that they did the right thing. Listen to clip number six on the Savage Nation. To the youth of this city, I will seek justice on your behalf. This is a moment. This is your moment. Let's ensure that we have peaceful and productive rallies that will develop structural and systemic changes for generations to come. You're at the forefront of this cause. And as young people, our time is now. Now she's there. You hear what she just said? Unbelievable. So you she said, you're, wait, as young people, not your time has come. She said, as young people, our time has come. Our time is now. She's now joining with those who burnt the city to the ground. Right. Terrible. Oh, my goodness. What well, I mean, listen, I, I'm paid to listen and hear, and I'm paid to pick up on the subtleties of what people do and what they say. But I don't care who's listening to this show. Marilyn Mosby is a political animal. She did the wrong thing. She indicted too many cops. If uh, any cops should have been indicted at all, it should never have been on these charges. It should have been on, on one single charge and only one cop a at most. And the fact of the matter is, is that the attorney for the dead man, Bill Murphy, is a close friend of hers and gave her campaign donations when she ran for prosecutor. He was even on her transition team. She's looking to get him a big payday. Right. Thank you for the call. Unbelievable. You haven't heard that on any other show, have you yet? Well, you just heard it on the Savage Nation. This case stinks from the top to the bottom. She's a political animal. To the youth of this city, I will seek justice on your behalf. This is a moment, your moment. Let's make sure we have peaceful discussions. As young people, our, our time is now, she said. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? She then goes on with the next chant of Al Sharpton and the street rats in clip seven. Listen. To those that are angry, hurt, or have their own experiences of injustice at the hands of police officers. Can you believe I urge this? you to channel the energy peacefully as mm -hmm. we prosecute this case. Mm -hmm. I've heard your calls for no justice, no peace. However, your peace is sincerely needed as I work to deliver justice on behalf of Freddie Gray. Deliver justice? Did you hear what she just said? Deliver justice. Wow, that's a loaded statement. She didn't say seek justice, did she? She already knows what the, what the deliverance is going to be. She's a very, very political woman who's looking to run for higher office, and she should have been forced to re recuse herself. If I were the attorney defending these cops in, in, in a jurisdiction where they could get a fair case, this case would be thrown out almost immediately. Do you know that? I want you to reverse this. If you were an attorney representing an individual who was being railroaded like this, are you telling me as a lawyer you couldn't have this case thrown out? But in Baltimore, are you kidding? Listen, these cops can never get a fair trial in Baltimore. They have to be tried somewhere else. I would try them in North Dakota. This is the Savage Nation. I'll be right back. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. Your Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com. It's the only company I trust for tangible assets, gold and silver. Call 800-B-U-I-C-O-I-N. A rush to judgment by a politically ambitious district attorney in order to quell the riots. I do not think she can convict. There's no due process here. You know, if you had seen any criminal in this country indicted so rapidly, do you think that a liberal attorney would not be screaming that it's not due process? And here she basically lynches six cops. Sure, she wants to stop the riots, but do you think she'll ever get a real conviction? It's all political motivation, period, end of story. Now, I want to play for you a sound that just came out from the police union lawyer Michael Davey, I want you to listen very carefully to what he has to say. In my 20 years uh, career as a law enforcement officer and 16 years as an attorney, I have never seen such a hurried rush to file criminal charges which I believe are driven by forces which are separate and apart from the application of law and the facts of this case as we know them. There it is. Now, he probably has an easier case to prove than she does, <laughs> incidentally. She's got a long way to go to prove that they intentionally um, put this man, excuse me, intentionally killed this man. I mean, she charged him with homicide. 
Do you have any idea what she's done here? Officer William Porter, involuntary manslaughter, 10 years. Second degree assault, 10 years. Lieutenant Brian Rice, involuntary manslaughter, 10 years. Two counts of secondary assault, 10 years each. Officer Edward Nero, two counts of second degree assault, 10 years. Officer Garrett Miller, two counts of second degree assault, 10 years. Sergeant Alicia D. White, involuntary manslaughter, 10 years. Second degree assault, 10 years. And other charges. I'm just reading the top two charges. A rush to judgment by a politically motivated, ambitious district attorney. No due process. It's a disgrace. This case is, uh, I think, going to go nowhere. In fact, it's liable to tear the city apart more so than we've already seen once they're not indicted. That's what's going to happen. They, she never should have overreached because she's raised the expectations of the, of the mobs in the street. The first thing I would do if I were the police union lawyer is point out that <clears throat> the attorney for the dead man is a close friend and he gave her large campaign donations when she ran for prosecutor. And that the attorney for the dead man was even on her transition team. End of story. The case is biased from the get-go. Moresby has soiled her own record. More to say on the, on the Savage Nation by you and myself when I return. Don't change that dial. You'll be very disappointed, I can guarantee you. Join the Savage Nation. Call now. 855-400-SAVAGE. Savage. A law enforcement officer and 16 years as an attorney. I have never seen such a hurried rush to file criminal charges, which I believe are driven by forces which are separate and apart from the application of law and the facts of this case as we know them. No officer injured Mr. Gray, caused harm to Mr. Gray, and they are truly saddened by his death. These officers did nothing wrong. As all of the facts surrounding this case come out in the appropriate forum, the officers lack of wrongdoing will be made abundantly clear. Right, and this just came out from the Baltimore Sun. The Fraternal Order of Police has called on this prosecutor to recuse herself and defends the officers. Good for them. They're fighting back. They're not rolling over. They're not Republicans. They're not pansies like uh, Boehner and the rest with Obama. Listen what they had to say. A Fraternal Order of Police Lodge is asking Baltimore State Attorney Marilyn Mosby, that's the ambitious political appointee, to appoint a special prosecutor to the Freddie Gray investigation. Why? Because of her personal connection to the Gray family's attorney, William Billy Murphy Jr., and her marriage to a city councilman. Right from the get-go, she has no right to prosecute this case. The letter from Gene Ryan, president of Fraternal Order of Police Lodge 3, also states that none of the six cops involved in Gray's arrest and death were responsible for the 25-year-old West Baltimore man's death that spurred protests, including rioting and looting on Monday. This letter was released just minutes before the grandstanding by Mosby attacking the officers. Listen what the letter says. Not one of the officers involved in this tragic situation left home in the morning with the anticipation that someone with whom they interacted would not go home that night, the letter states. As tragic as the situation is, none of the officers involved are responsible for the death of Mr. Gray. Ryan requests that Moresby appoint a special independent prosecutor. Why? He says, I have very deep concerns about the many conflicts of interest presented by your office conducting an investigation in this case, the letter states. These conflicts include your personal and professional relations with Gray family attorney William Murphy, and the lead prosecutor's connections with members of the local media. You listening to this? Based on several nationally televised interviews, these reporters are likely to be witnesses in any potential litigation regarding this incident. The, 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 attorney, the attorney for the deceased, Murphy, supported her by donating $5,000 to her campaign and served on a transition committee, as I said to you earlier. Now, of course, she denies these charges, and she wants to be the one who prosecutes it, of course, the grandstand. But the letter goes on, and they say that there's a problem with Mosby's marriage to Baltimore City Councilman Nick Mosby. Here's what it says. <clears throat> Most importantly, it is clear that your husband's political future will be directly impacted, for better or worse, by the outcome of your investigation, the letter states. In order to avoid any appearance of impropriety or a violation of the professional rules of professional responsibility, 
I ask that you appoint a special prosecutor to determine whether or not any charges should be filed. This was before she jumped on the bandwagon. You hear this? We recognize that there are many dimensions to this situation. Blah, blah, blah. And so now you know the rest of the stories. The rest of the story. But she jumped the gun. She rushed to judgment for her political ambitions. And there was no due process. My suspicion is that even if they are railroaded in Baltimore, it will be uh, appealed and thrown out. Their lives are ruined anyway. Uh, let me ask you something. If you're from Baltimore, do you feel safer today knowing that this ambitious district attorney, whatever they call her there, has now personally vindicated the rioters? Do you feel safer now? Or do you fear for your life now that this ambitious uh, political hack has done this to the police without any due process involved whatsoever. How could she have come to these conclusions so quickly? How? How could it, how could it have been done so quickly? Even the uh, FBI, when they investigated these other cases in Ferguson, took months to arrive at any conclusion. Do you know how many witnesses you have to call to get to a conclusion? Who were the witnesses? Where would she come up with this from? She invented the whole thing out of whole cloth. I think she ought to be prosecuted, by the way, when this is over. Maybe someone ought to prosecute her for, for the injustice that she has done to the police department. Rush to judgment. WJR, John, welcome to the Savage Nation. Go ahead, please. Yeah, Michael, I have yet to hear you point out to, um, that this has been going on ever since this country was born. Rush to judgment. Prosecutors with political aspirations. It's happened every day across the country. Uh, yeah, well, about it I, I understand that, but not, but in this case, the whole country is watching. Right. This happens to be the one today. But Oh, yeah. I know that the prosecutors are very aggressive and, and uh, very often violate the law in order to grandstand. I get that. Well, it's nothing new. No, no. I, I understand very well what it is. Here in the county of Marin, where I reside part-time, there's a district attorney who's worse than her, in my opinion. It was a guy who defended himself after he was chased home by a guy in a car. The guy came in his garage and he shot his gun at him. The, the, the DA prosecuted the guy who defended himself. That's how crazy it is here in a liberal community. Thank you for the call. No, there's nothing new under the sun about ambitious district attorneys. No, no way. WBAP in Dallas, Texas. You're on the Savage Nation. Paul, fire away. What's your opinion? Oh, yes. Uh, have you... Um uh, first of all, thank you for taking my call. Uh, have you watched the or heard uh, the uh, uh, the play by Arthur Miller, The Crucible? Right, what's your point? I, I know you're saying it's like The Crucible. Tell us how it is like that, Paul. Okay. All right. To, uh, we like to think we're smarter these days, but today we're just like the Salem witch trials. And today the new witchcraft is racism. And you get a whole community spun up over that concept. Oh, yeah. Racism or homophobia or, or anti-immigrant or Islamophobia. Those are the new words. I get it. Yes. And uh, so uh, we as supposedly thinking we're smarter than we were back then, we're not. Right. The, the witches today are straight white males with crosses on their chest. Uh, you most, I would agree with you there yeah that, that's the new witch the, the new witch in america is a straight white male married with children who yep. goes to church that's the new witch because the warlocks have taken over the country thanks for the call got it ksfo san francisco james you're up your opinion go ahead please hey michael i think the uh prosecutor or the um uh, lawyer there who charged them is totally out of bounds, and I can't even believe that they went ahead and let her speak after that letter. Yeah, well, they 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 sent the letter minutes before she proce she she announced the charges. Well, it didn't it wouldn't have stopped her anyway. You know that she's an ambitious political animal, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. And her husband is in the district where the riots occurred. That's number two. And the lawyer for the for the deceased man is one of her best friends, who gave her five thousand dollars. So how, how much dirtier does it get? Yeah, and what you did is you dissected what she said this morning in a way that really captivated me. Uh, you know, I heard what she said, but the way you put it, 
God, it's even scarier than I... What, when you hear her talking to the mob?